Hey guys, what's up? Scottish Duck here once again. Here we are in the Monolnol Fields, whatever the fuck it's called. And uh, yeah, off we go. Right, right off the bat, guys, you know what this planet reminds me of? That desert level in Killzone 2, you know? Looks a lot like it, doesn't it? Uh, I don't know why, it just does remind me of it. Anyway, on with the level. And there's time fucking up up there. In fact, let's have a closer look at this, shall we? So, blob. Ah! Camo crates. Just like Tithe... Insomniac's ripping off Tithe the Tasmanian Tiger, people! Because that game had ammo... Camo crates, rather. Bleh. Right. <coughs> anyway. Let's see the other level, and uh, let me hang. There was there was another sort of deserty level, wasn't there, for uh, in this game, which was the demo area, wasn't it? I'll talk about it when we get there. But for now, let's do platforming. This right here. Greetings, outsider. What brings you to Molinoth? Right, we have to choose our words carefully because it will affect the entire game. Uh, we'll tell the truth. Parents. Surely a peaceful adventurer such as yourself has no business in such a dangerous place. But if you insist, it is just. Alright, I get you. I'm sure you guys can read that text perfectly. I mean, I can only just barely read it uh, playing the game in a standard def so that I can record it. So you guys can probably read it absolutely perfectly. Oh crap, there's things to kill me here. They're pretty tough. Oh! Nanotech. Oh, an upgrade. Yeah, they must be pretty tough. Look how much shit I just got from them. <laughs> Alright. Up here we go then. I should turn the difficulty down. Should I turn the difficulty down, guys? Would you still respect me? Man, those things key a lot of XP. Right, this is fucking freaky right here. Suddenly get so serious. We do not grant entrance to outsiders. They must find it for themselves. All right, we'll just look for a series of platforms, most likely around the other side where we just came. Oh, look what it is! Right. Quark, I don't think that's such a good idea. 
Normally I'd agree with you, but the Fungoids insist that I leave as soon as possible. They even paid the Agorians to come pick me up. Isn't that nice? I'll keep you posted. Work out. Right, I, um, I might be wrong, but I'm, I'm actually sort of predicting I wasn't supposed to get that Zoni like that, because as you saw, uh, the Zoni was kind of flying away there. Maybe I'm just so, like, really quick. <coughs> I didn't even mean to do it that time. I was trying to smash this stuff here. Right, grind boot session. That rail you crowned on is pretty damn detailed. There, that was easy. Welcome, outsider. I apologize for the ruse, <coughs> but we like to keep our operation away from the prying eyes of galactic authorities. Come, you have proven yourself worthy. Volgrim Pass is cool. on the other side of the hollow, but you must be aware. That there is a dangerous exile there. Most of our kind do our best to stay away from him. Why? What'd he do? Oh, you know. Attacked one of Nefarious's transports. Salon Alphos and Corthos. The usual rebel stuff. Here we are. Oh, not again. We'll be using this right here later. Well, we won't be coming back to use it. But, you'll see, you'll see. Alright, we need to fling these bastards into these bits here. Oh, look, a connection error. I'm getting those a lot, actually. I think. Do they not have something to do with trophy data? Power, I'm afraid access to Pass is impossible. Looks like you're out of luck outside. Don't worry, we'll think of something. Right, the Dynamo of Doom, that is one kick ass weapon. Very powerful. Dynamo of Doom. Now this is a weapon for serious adventurers. Outnumbered by enemies? No problem. Even the score by deploying this remote controlled orb. Once activated, you can steer it around the battlefield and wipe out the whole lot of them. The Dynamo of Doom, available only at Grumblenet. Yeah, this utilizes the uh, six-axis motion control. I think I talked about this a bit in the during my Tools of Destruction Let's Play, but there was a lot of criticism for you know the six-axis use in a Tools of Destruction. I thought it was pretty good. I don't know why everybody was all bitching at it, though. Right, I'm signed in now, apparently. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, that was a fail. Uh, uh, okay, I'll, I'll accept that. That was, uh, that was quite boneheaded on my part. Right, there we go. Got the conveyor belt moving, now we just gotta get those uh I wonder what these I wonder what these things purpose is, you know? Why are they banging against each other for no apparent reason? I hope that explosion didn't hurt you. Right, there should be something good behind here. Uh huh. Right, 
Why not? Right, what's this one do? Charge. Yeah, we'll put on charge. <coughs> no. 